All right, welcome to a quick demo of Simple FAQ. You can get started for free with no credit card required at mysimplefaq.com. So let's do that. I'm going to sign up for free. And now I'm in. So I land on my dashboard and I can go ahead and in my settings, customize my site title, tagline, custom domain, whatever I want, completely for free, no credit card required. And if I want at any given moment, I can go ahead and upgrade. But now let's go ahead and log out and log in to an actual website. Let's go to the user that's set up here, myself actually, at faq.ryanccolb.com. Here you can see that I've had around 20 or 30 questions asked that I've answered. And so let's log into that dashboard to see how it looks. Now that I'm in a populated dashboard, you can see that the number of questions I've been asked and the number of answers I've given are a little bit different. So this kind of tells me what I need to do. I have eight pending questions and for kicks, how many words I've written. Now here I have a pro account. So we're going to notice in the preferences tab that I have a lot more settings. I can add different analytics tracking. I can remove the powered by backlinks with custom CSS. I can even fire off custom JavaScript. Down here, I've set up my different categories. So you can see that those are the types of questions people can ask me. And I can also require or not require someone to provide their email. So here, if I were to require this, refresh here, you can see this is no longer optional. They have to provide the email. So the other settings here include the ability to send myself emails or to send the person who asked the question an email whenever I answer something. Toggle that on or off in seconds. Now, to answer a question, here's what that experience looks like. First, I might want to delete a question that uh, seems like spam or that I don't feel like answering. So once I click something, I can hit destroy. Otherwise, when I select a question, I see this populated data underneath based on whether they provided extra information. So these supporting details here will show up here. Now, in my rich text editor, I can use all kinds of different fonts and text. I can bold things. I can even insert images from around the web. I can align text. I can use block quote, so on and so forth. I built this tool for individuals like myself and small businesses who want a simple, clutter-free way to share information with their audience or their fans without having to repeat themselves over and over again through emails or pay for expensive support tools that do a lot more than they need. Hope this helps. Enjoy.